Welcome everyone, I'm Theodore Prestior, and this is Fortune Summoners. Secret of the Elemental Stone. Alright. This is an action adventure game, apparently made by Lizsoft. Um, it was published by the same publishers that published uh, Reseteer and uh, Chantelise. So it has a, a little bit of similarity as far as humor is concerned, but uh, this is completely different developers. So it has its own little things. Anyway, um, I think the volume's okay right now, so I'll go ahead and start a new game, if I can remember how to control this game. Uh, this game is a little frustrating, um, but it has a pretty nice story, and as, as long as you can get around some of the frustration or frustrating parts, it gets a bit easier. So, um, I'll explain it as we go. Let's start. Now you got... You got five difficulties. Needless to say, I am going to play it on easy. Um, I have played it on hard for a bit, and then I reduced it to normal, and then I reduced it to easy. Uh, simply because the AI kind of cheats in this. Um, I'll explain that as I fight. I'm going to have an auto guard on, which means I'll block. As long as I'm not taking any other actions, I will automatically block, which is pretty useful. Um, you still won't generally want to make sure you're hitting uh, the block button anyway, just to make sure you're always guarding as often as possible, because uh, it keeps you alive. And there you go. Let's go ahead and, uh, as, as it mentions in the uh, parentheses down there, you can change the difficulty setting anytime you want. It really just affects how hard you get hit, and that's about, and I think how hard you hit. And it might affect the AI a little bit, I'm not entirely certain. I wasn't too good at this game, but I at least beat it, so that's something. And I have to play this full screen, so I gotta look at my phone to see my time. Elemental stones. Stones imbued with the power of, the el of an elemental spirit, which grant the wielder of one the ability to control the that element via magic. In the country of Scottsholm, three centuries have passed since they were first created. Elemental stones are now mass-produced and widely used, making magic a personal, commonplace part of people's lives. This is the story of one particular young girl who lives in Scottsholm. Okay. So yeah, much like Reseteer and Chantilly's, um, the characters you play in this game are all female. Town of Tonkiness. Or Tonkiness, how you should pronounce it. Ah, here we are at last. Look, Arch, this is our new hometown. Yay, we're finally here, so this is Tonkadis. We haven't uh, been here since you were a baby, Arch. Goodness, it's uh, busier than I remembered. Yeah, there's people and shops and all kinds of stuff. Hey, Dad, our shop is in this town, right? Uh, in this town too, right? The one we'll be living in? I want to see it. Where is it? Mm, it's just down the next street a bit. Cool. Zoom. Mom, Dad, come on. Well, wait up for your poor old slow parents, dear. So this is our new house, and it really is Dad's new store, too. He, there's even an item shop sign. Look, Mom. Oh, this is lovely. This is your mother's old house, right, dear? Mm-hmm. I'm hoping I can make a living as a shopkeeper from now on. Helping the townsfolk out with their daily needs instead of... Well, Arch, you, I'll be counting on you to help run the store, too, remember? I will, I promise. And today we need your help with moving us in. Be a good girl and help Arch. Could be Archie, but I'm not entirely certain. So the first store of our uh, first floor of our house is a store. Cool. Okay, I need to help with the moving in. To move around, I press left and right, and to talk to people and do stuff, I press X. Right. Right now I'm playing with a gamepad, and I think it's generally a little bit easier. Let's see. We got messages. We got system. Let's go to options real quick. I'm gonna go to sound settings. Message volume. I'm gonna set it to off. And save and exit. Get analog gamepad. Do, 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 default settings. Gamepad setup. 
Yeah, there's a bit of a... There's actually a decent amount of controls here. And multiple pages. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Draw a sword. Where's my... Which one's guard? You're kidding me, right? There's gotta be something that allows me to... Well, I'll figure it out in one second. How do I cancel out of this? Oh no! No! Ah! Get me out of this! How do I get out of this? <laughs> oh yeah, cancel the changes. <laughs> there we go. Alright, sorry guys, I messed that up a lot. Let's see... I do not have item. Oh wow, it changed all my stuff. It, it literally did. Awesome. So I actually have to relearn all the controls again. I do not have a jump button now. Alright, give me one moment. I'm gonna fix these controls. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so this is draw sword. I can attack. I'm trying to see if there's a guard. No, that's not it. That's not it either. So yeah, based on what directions you pl uh, press and stuff, you can decide your attacks. But you can actually look up right now. Let's go ahead and pull up her status. This is Arch. Um, she's essentially a, your physical attacker type character. And she's right now in a slash thrust, roll, cartwheel, sla wide slash, snap, thrust, jump, kick, and arcing slash. So, just press X. Press down and X for the thrust to roll. You gotta press. You gotta kind of do a like a Hadouken type thing. Cartwheel is to do it the opposite direction. Then you got wide slash, which uh, is just forward and X. Snap, snap thrust, which is back and X, and then jump kick, which is kind of a weird upward thing. If you if you can do jump kick, uh, you can actually move through. You can actually move a lot faster than your normal run speed. And then you got the upward slash. Knowing some of these is kind of important, because it makes things a lot easier, such as that. Let's go ahead and change the, the volume to... Sorry, I'm kind of using this as my adjustment video. So, sound settings, you need to be softer. There we go, save and exit. games are always so loud, apparently. Sound settings. Okay. And we're good to go. Now, if I press... Oh, there we go. Hey, a capsule machine. If you put money in it and turn the handle, you, you win stuff. Once I'm done helping with the move, I'll try it. So yeah, that's kind of your vending machine. You usually you usually get junk from it, but sometimes you get better things. The paper on the wall says, We have everything you'll e ever need. Welcome to the, the Plumfield Shop. You can walk, jump, run, and so forth. Arch, make sure you, to help around the house today. Oh, and remember, hit C to jump on, on that last step of the stairs. You might have a little trouble reaching the second floor up otherwise. Roll, car cartwheel, roll, roll. Door's locked. Oh, pressing up is block. Oh, good to know. I didn't realize up was block. That's kind of weird. Alright, door's locked. Let's jump up there. The controls are a little slippery as far as running around is concerned. Hey mom, do you need help with anything? Hmm, let me think. Well, if you want to help, we have a few spare crates and barrels in our bedroom. Would you mind getting rid of them? Okay. Our bedroom is on this floor, through the door here. To go through a door, to walk up to it and press up. We'll do that later. Whee! 
So this is my room. I get a room t on the top floor. That's so awesome. Chocolate, did you ever? Uh, did you have a good trip? Well, I guess stuffed bunnies don't have much to say, huh? Park's precious bunny chocolate. You found Melshi chocolate inside the closet. You found Melshi chocolate. So yeah, you can actually check these cupboards and stuff for items. And this is your storage thing. I'll go with drill stuff. Oops. Don't have anything in there. And right now we only have five copper pieces. You found a book titled Book of Sword Street Secrets. Would you like to read it? Yes. The book contains information on using the combo white slash ability. Arch, uh, Arch learned combo white slash. The book contained information on using the night thrust ability. Arch learned night thrust. The book contained information on using leaping slash ability. Arch learned leaping slash. The book contained information on using twirling slash ability. Learned twirling slash. Okay, we just got a bunch of new abilities, and I was not prepared for that. Combo white slash. So you can do. After doing a wide slash, um, oh, after you're doing a normal slash, you can follow it up immediately with a wide slash. And then, <clears throat> you also, uh, now when you run, you can do, end it with a, uh, thrusting attack, and some other stuff. To do a behind, somersault slash, blah blah blah. Do anything to me, thank you. I'm not really good at doing a lot of these moves, unfortunately. chocolate, all it does is restore a little bit of HP, um, and this just increases max HP, which I'm going to go ahead and use on Arch for Arch HP now. Good stuff. Special items, we have an old sword. It's uh, an old sword that was a gift from Arch's father. It's been blunted to be a practice blade and it has no real cutting power. So yeah, she runs around with an actual sword that's been blunted. She's uh, rather dangerous. And... Oh, okay, this is just, this is AI controls. Um, you actually will get AI partners in this, and you can actually swap control very similar to, like, Secret of Mana. So, uh, get ready for that junk. Messages. Collection of messages and notes from Arch and her friends includes letters from outside the party. From Arch. Today we're moving in. I wish I could go explore all of Tonkiness, but I gotta help Mom and Dad. Okay. There we go. I wonder if there's anything else I can do. Good work, Arch. Now, there's a big box in the storage room that's in the in the way of things. Could you go push it against the left wall for me? Sure. There's a storage room. Uh, the storage room is through the door on the first floor. Hmm. This is the storage room. Ah! That box is huge. It's bigger than I am. So I just need to push it to the left wall. So to, uh, so to move heavy stuff, I just push... Uh, left or right wall up against it, I think. So yeah, this is actually a bigger crate, but I'll deal with that in a second. First, just uh, checking stuff. Breaking stuff. Anything here? Nope, doesn't look like it. And there you go. 
hint, he might be pushing things in this game. Just letting you know. You can actually do like a back thrust as well. There you go. I'll eventually get back into the groove. That or I'll just die a lot. Whichever. Alright, let's go talk to what's her face. Thank you, Arch. I'm fine now. Go see if your father needs help, okay? Okay. First, I want to check something. Okay. I'm just making sure I can use other buttons instead of uh, my right, tr my left trigger to actually use items. So seems to be the case. Yeah. Okay. Good. That makes it a little bit easier on me for controlling. Arch, could you run a little errand for me? Okay. I need you to go to the weapon store and fetch a custom-made knife I ordered. Once you leave the house, go right to get onto, the, onto First Street. After that, the weapon store should be on your left. Just let the shopkeeper know what you need and bring the knife back here. I'm counting on you, Arch. Leave it to me, Dad. Yay, fetch quest. Whee. So, what we can do here is we can start looting everything. Tough drop. Wait, who are you? Oh, my. Are you Arch? Um, yeah, I'm Arch. Do you know me, ma'am? I do indeed. I remember when your grandmother brought you here when you were just the tiniest baby. Hey, kitty. Meow. Alright, well, we just went in there to get the tough drop. Let's just go ahead and use, uh, items. Tough drop increases def uh, defense permanently. Go ahead and use it on Arch. Yay! Okay, can't go any further that way. I can do a slide. Whee! And there's a bunch of people you can talk to. Pardon me, ma madame, but would you like to share some tea? Oh, I must pass, I'm afraid. So most of these towns of folk are pretty normal. I'm good at running. If you run, uh, want to run, tap t uh, the direction twice to run. If you want to stop running, just press in the opposite direction. Gee. Uh, Mama said th uh, taking things from other people is bad, but heroes can take what they need from houses and stories and look at, like a hero. So go for it. Yay, heroes! In other words, loot all you want. The street we're on now is First Street. The gate to the left leads to Second Street, the right gate to Third Street. The south gate past Third Street leads out of town and toward the Manasa Rati, uh, Rati uh, sorry, Manasa Rati School of Magic. Yay, five, five copper! There have been so many monsters in the wild lately, I wonder if it's a sign of the elementals are weakening. found underwear inside the drawer. You found underwear. Underwear is kind of just, uh, it's armor, but it doesn't give any bonuses. So you can just sell it. Door's locked. Welcome, welcome. You're a little adorable for a customer. Hello, mister. Did you make all the weapons here? There's a ton of them. That's right, little messy. A uh, little missy. These old hands made everything you, can, you see here. Mm, hang on, hang about, missy. Is that sword on your back the real thing? Uh-huh. It's just my dad's blunted practice sword, though. I never lost to any of the boys at fencing at my old school. Well, that's pretty impressive, Missy. I'm pretty tough, too. Best in the town, if I say so myself. Gahaha. So, Missy, what can I do for you today? Oh, right. Um, my dad asked me to get you a custom-made knife from you. A custom-made... You'd be the Plumfield daughter Arch, then? Uh-huh. That's right. I see, I see. Yes, that explained the... Well, here's the knife, then. Obtain custom knife. Thanks, mister. So then, it must be your father who, who taught you the way of the sword. Yep, Dad used to be the best swordsman in the guard. Oh yes, I've heard the stories about Mr. Plumfield. Best swordsman in a generation, they say. But I remember hearing that he was seriously injured after fighting some monster or another. Ah, sorry, I'm rambling. Gotta say, though, with a daughter who's cute as a button and skilled with a blade, your papa must be pr a proud man, Arch. <laughs> hey, mister, can I come look at your weapon sometime? Of course, you're welcome to come in any time. I'll see you later, Arch. So, yes, Arch's father 
was originally a, uh, a um, swordsman. Or apparently worked for the guard, and he was apparently famous for his, you know, skill and all that fun stuff. Oh yeah, Dad never taught me any more sword stuff after that. So after he was injured, he wasn't taught anything more. as low as it's going to get, huh? Alright, hopefully it's not too loud. I'm a graduate of Minasa Reti Magic School. The teachers in, in my day were very, very strict. I once broke a pot the headmaster uh, treasured, and just for that I had to run ten laps in the garden. I hear that the current headmaster is a much gentler ma man, though. And here's the end. Generally, you can actually save your game in an end. found a bu book titled Prank Magic Encyclopedia. Would you like to read it? Sure. How to flip skirts with wind magic, turn a cat into a goblin with polymorph, make du magic dust, Dell, keep him laughing forever, master comedian, magician, beer design goes over all the classic uh, magical pranks. Now you too can be a master prank sage. Actually, was there more than one page? No, there was not. And how are we on time? It's been... Let's go ahead and finish up the end, and then I'll go ahead and call this a video. Sorry, there's not much action, but... Trolls here are a little bit difficult. Hey, got a silver coin. Uh, I don't remember the exchange rate for everything in this game. Actually, one way to find out. Looks like a silver coin is worth 10 copper. So, standard stuff there. Found a Matama drop inside the closet. Matama drop. Matama drop in, uh, just restores a little bit of HP. It's like candy. Hey, miss, are you a witch? What? Goodness, no, I'm not a witch. I'm a wizardess. A wizardess? There's a difference? Oh, yes. Witch is a name for female demons who use magic. I'm a human, so I can't be a witch. That might be important. Alright, well, let's go ahead and call this a video. I am Theater Press Dior, and this was Fortune Summoners. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.